Hey y'all, what's up? It's Black Onyx. Today is October 3rd. And um, this video is brought to you by my website, blackonyxworld.com. Check me out. All right, so um, actually I was just about to do my hair and I decided to just record this video to show y'all um, basically just how I blow dry my hair nowadays. I know I did a video sometime last year, but since my hair length has changed since then, my blow drying technique also has changed. And also, um, another thing is I don't use as many products when I'm blow drying my hair as I used to. Um, so I'm just gonna take you through how I do it. So what I've done so far is I actually did a hot oil treatment yesterday, coated it with my Honey and Sage Deep Conditioner. You can check out that video if you're interested in seeing how I did it. I was gonna leave it in for an hour. I ended up leaving it in all day and this morning. Um, I went walking this morning for an hour and a half, so that just gave my hair some extra steam. What I did was I showered and washed my hair. Hold on. Um, I was gonna use my co-wash me cleansing conditioner when I got into the shower I realized I was out so I didn't want to come out to get any so I end up um, washing with my Caribbean coconut milk shampoo and the Caribbean coconut milk conditioner is what I detangled with um, I kept my hair in my four quadrants so I actually washed my hair in those exact same four quadrants detangled twist it up and you guys know how I do so I'm just taking my hair out. When I blow dry, I don't like to I don't like to have excess water in my hair. So I do my best to try and get it out. So I'm just pat drying my hair. Okay. Alright, so the, what I spray on my hair and use right now as a protectant, I think I may develop a serum in the future, like if I decide I'm gonna be flat ironing my hair on a regular basis. But for now, if I blow dry my hair, I like to use my lemongrass leave-in conditioner, LK Naturals, you can find that on my website. As usual, check the video description box. So I'm just spraying it on my hair making sure I get every region. You don't want to overly saturate it, but the trick is you want to make sure that you get your hair fully covered. Um, I've been using this as what I've been using to protect my hair when I blow dry, and my curls have always reverted back, so I've never had a problem. Um, usually, I blow dry my hair half dry um, when I'm going to style it, if I blow dry at all. Sometimes I try to just use my banding method, but then there's days where I know I have to go, 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 and I don't have time for my hair to air dry itself, so I half blow dry it and then I twist it up or do whatever I was going to do. Um, the more that you can avoid using heat in your hair, the better. But if you are going to put heat in your hair, even if you're putting it on a low setting, you want to make sure that you're protecting your hair. So that's why I take the time to spray my lemongrass leave-in on. Um, I'm also just making sure I blow dry my hair because I'm doing a length check video for y'all. So I want to make sure I kind of have it partially stretched so it's easier for me to manage. So I take a paddle brush and I brush my hair. My hair was already detangled in the shower. so. I make sure I don't have any snags or not. Um, I blow dry my hair on, hold on. Actually, I usually put this thing in half because I don't have the patience to sit here and be doing small sections. So I may as well just do it like I usually do, even with this video. So I did that in half, brushing it through. Then I'm going to put it on medium and warm. Each person does their stuff a different way, but to each their own, you have to do what works for your hair. Um, a lot of people ask me, why don't I get the blow dryer that has the brush in there, the comb in there? I don't know. I've tried them. I guess they work for me. I, I don't know. It's not really like on purpose. So anyway, all I just did was I grabbed my hair and I pulled it and I ran the blow dryer over it a couple times. That's basically to kind of pre-dry my hair. See, it's already stretched. Then I brush it out. 
like I said, when I do, my biggest concern is just making sure that I'm not in any way ruining the health of my hair or preventing my curls from coming back. I know someone has left a comment on the video I posted yesterday saying they had heat damage. You ladies, guys, whoever, y'all have to be very careful because once it's the heated, damaged by heat, it's really, really difficult and it's really scary thinking that your curls won't revert. So I thought what you guys see I'm doing is I'm holding my blow dryer not too close. You don't want it directly on your head. Take my paddle brush. It's the one that has not metal bristles, but um, plastic ones. I blow dry going in this direction. I blow dry going down. I flip the blow dryer back here and flip it in this direction. And I go up back down. That's just making sure that you stretch your hair in all facets and it gets my hair drier quicker when I do it in multiple directions and not just like down. So my hair, it pretty much can stretch more, but this is why you call it half blow drying. Um, if I wanted to completely stretch my hair, I would blow dry it until it is more like this. You know what I mean? So it's like more like more straight but here's my hair half blow dried and so it's it's not wet you know but it's not completely straight either so there you guys go Ooh, length. I can't wait to do that lens check video it's like sometimes I forget to look at where my hair reaches but anywho once I do that section I'm not gonna sit here and bore you guys all I do is I take this down, I leave this out, and I do this section also, and then I just go vroom, vroom, vroom like two times so the two sections blend together. I take it and I either twist it up and pin it back up with my duck bill clip, or I just leave it out completely. So let me go ahead and do my whole head, and I'll come back and show y'all my half-stretched blowout. Okay, y'all, I'm halfway there. So this side is half blow-dried, this side is still wet. So that's the difference, so. Okay y'all, so my hair is finished being half blow dried. So this is basically it. I mean, check that hair, girl. Check that hair, girl. <laughs> so it's just really fluffy and a lot so I'm like oh it's freaking hot in here um I haven't straightened my hair in a long time so I don't know what my hair would look like if I did a full blow dry so I don't know maybe one day because look that's the difference you guys see when I have blow dry my hair stops here if I was to full blow dry my hair would be out here so it'd be like twice as big as this so that's what I wanted to just come in and show y'all that's my technique so like I said if you want your hair to be fully blow dried you just go over the section um, continuously until it's like fully stretched but if you're rushing and you need to do like a twist out and a braid out and you just really need your hair to be dried quick then you can try this technique if you have more time on your hands stick to doing the banding method or some kind of non heat method okay so this is my hair peeps and once again if you're looking for that lemongrass leave-in you can find it at my website blackonyxworld.com under allocate naturals i'm gonna do something to my hair now so stay tuned i'll see you on the next video bye yeah, yeah, yeah. i can be your number one man you can be my number one fan you can be my number one girl i can be the only man you ever want in this world, girl.